Angeline the Baker. Angeline the Baker basically comes out of a one main hammer cord pattern. What you're going to be doing is left hand, uh, actually, if you're going to start out with the uh, with the lead on it, you'll start out with the uh, D. And you'll, you'll go up, you know, what you're doing is you're going to go uh, sort of a syncopated style. It's something that I picked up over the years. But it starts out like this. That's your first phrase. And practice that a few times. Now you're going to be uh, rattling back and forth with that left hand. So your first phrase, you're going to follow up with the second phrase, which is, and you'll end up leaving that hanging. That's the, that's the note that's going to hang out. So it's going to again go like this. We'll do that one just a little slower. The next phrase in the A is going to be, the next phrase is going to end up going up the left side of the treble bridge. Starts out like this. And that completes the A part. One more time, real slow, everything together. The B part starts out starts out up here at the A, and, and works its way down. Now works works its way on down. So the whole song together, I mean that B part is very simple. The A part actually is once you pick up the phrasing on it and get the tune in your head so that you can hum it. So with the lead in it goes like this. Now, as far as embellishings, there's there's not much generally in that type of an old-timey tune. Things are just going to clip right along, and there's not going to be much room to add anything to it. Sometimes I'll stick a chord at the end, so it would be uh, like this. So you have your triangles here and here triangles here and here, always uh, uh, anchoring off that D position, off that D string on the bass bridge. <laughs> 